Tando Stone, the number one brand of composite stone. In this video, we will walk you through the steps required to install Tando Stone. Begin the installation process by calculating the amount of material you will need to complete the installation. That includes Tando Stone panels, Tando Stone corners, ledge trim, ledge trim corners, J-channel, and starter strip. First, calculate total square footage by multiplying the width and height of each wall. Add them together for the total square footage. Each box of Tando Stone covers one half square, which is a 50 square foot area, five feet high by 10 feet wide. If using Tando Stone corners, measure the height of the wall with corners and divide by the height of the corner being used. For ledge trim, measure the width of the wall where the ledge trim is to be installed. Tando ledge trim comes in 32 inch lengths. For J-channel, measure around each window, door frame, and any other area where J-channel is to be used to get your lineal footage. Be sure to use one 1 8 inch J-channel, which is required for Tando Stone. Tando J-channel comes in lengths of 12 feet, 6 inches. For the number of starter strips needed, measure the lineal footage of the base of each wall. Each Tando starter strip is 10 feet long. Tando Stone doesn't require special tools for installation, allowing any siding applicator to easily install using traditional tools. You'll need a hammer, roofing nails, pencil, square, utility knife, chalk line, line level, straight level, snips, tape measure, oscillating cutting tool, drill, and a saw. For a saw, we recommend a track saw, compound miter saw, table saw, or circular saw. You'll need a 12 to 16 teeth per inch blade. Tando stone should be applied over a smooth, flat surface. Make sure to consult and comply with all local and national building codes. When installing Tando stone over a wood substrate, a weather-resistant barrier or house wrap must be in place and all wall penetrations must be properly flashed. If installing over masonry, please refer to the Tando installation guidelines. The wall is now ready for Tando stone. Installing Tando Universal Starter Strip Prior to installing Tando Stone, ensure the Tando Universal Starter Strip is level. If installing above a hard surface, like a driveway, leave a minimum of one quarter inch for expansion and contraction. The top of the starter strip should be approximately two and a quarter inches high. For all other installations, find the lowest point on the wall where Tando Stone will be installed. Next, a level or chalk line should be used at the determined height as a guide for the top edge of the starter strip. If using Tando Stone corners, leave a two and a half inch offset from the end of the starter strip to the corner of the wall. If using J-channel or other corner options, please refer to the Tando Stone installation guidelines. Next, install starter strip using roofing nails fastened every eight inches on center. Continue installing down the wall by placing the next starter strip in line to the previous one. Determining Tando Stone Wall Layout It is important that all panels are cut to a size greater than 12 inches in length. To ensure proper layout, we recommend laying out the Tando Stone panels as a visual guide. Installing the first row once the Tando Stone wall layout is determined, cut the first panel to the desired length. Remember, it must be 12 inches or more and account for the dimensions of the Tando Stone corner. Next, you will need to measure across the top of the panel to determine the center and drill a new center nailing hole. Place the first panel on the Tando Universal starter strip. Firmly press the panel down ensuring all fingers are engaged with the starter strip. Using roofing nails that penetrate the wall sheathing at least a quarter inch, tightly nail the first fastener into the drilled center nailing hole. Working from the center nailing hole, fasten every eight inches on center, leaving the nail approximately 1 16th of an inch from the surface of the panel 
to allow for expansion and contraction. Cut panels should have a minimum of three fasteners across the top, in addition to a fastener placed in the lateral hole. When installing the second panel, ensure side tabs are engaged with the previous panel and all bottom fingers are engaged with the starter strip. Proper spacing is determined by the temperature of the Tandostone panel, not the ambient air temperature. For Tandostone temperatures between 30 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit, position the second panel so the left edge aligns with the installation line on the upper right-hand corner of the previous panel. If the Tandostone temperature is below 30 degrees Fahrenheit, move the second panel 1 16th of an inch to the right of the installation line on the previous panel. Once properly spaced, tightly nail the first fastener in the pre-drilled center nailing hole. Continue every 8 inches on the center, leaving the nail approximately 1 16th of an inch from the surface. Full panels should have a minimum of 7 fasteners across the top in addition to a fastener in the lateral hole. Repeat this process for all full panels in row number one. To install the last panel of the row, measure from the installation line on the previous panel to determine the length of the last panel. Now, install the final panel. Remember to cut a new center nailing hole and nail every eight inches on center. It's important to stagger the first panel of each row by at least 8 inches from the first panel of the previous row. In many cases, the leftover material from the last cut in the previous row can be used as the first panel, helping to reduce waste. This will create a natural stone pattern. Tando builds natural randomization into the manufacturing process. Continue to stagger panels as you move up the wall. Installing Tando Stone Corners When installing Tando Stone Corners, you will first need to install a Tando Stone Corner Starter Clip. This is done by measuring up one quarter inch from the Tando Universal Starter Strip and placing the top of the starter clip on this mark with the opened end facing up. Install the starter clip using four roofing nails. Position the first corner over the installed Tando Stone panel and insert into the starter clip. Next, fasten the Tando Stone corner using four roofing nails. Repeat as you install Tando Stone corners up the wall. If you plan to install Tando Stone ledge trim, additional steps will be required for the last Tando Stone corner. Installing Tando Stone into an inside corner. When installing Tando Stone into an inside corner, Always install the front facing wall first. Install the J channel into the corner. Next, measure and cut the Tando stone for the adjacent wall. For alternate inside corner installation options, please refer to the Tando stone install guidelines. Installing Tando stone ledge trim and corners. When installing Tando stone ledge trim, the ledge trim corners must be installed first. Prior to installing the ledge trim corner, the top Tando stone corner must be cut to the proper height. Next, cut the bottom lip of the ledge trim corner to ensure it is level when installed. For stacked stone, a small notch will need to be made in both the Tando stone corner and the ledge trim for proper fit. Dry fit test the ledge trim corner for proper fit before installing. Fasten the ledge trim corner tight to the wall. Next, measure the length of the wall to determine the average cut length of each ledge trim. Be sure that all cuts are made from the square edge. Fasten the ledge trim into place. Measure the last piece of ledge trim after all others have been installed. Make a precision cut to ensure proper fit. How to install a round J-channel. 
J channel should be installed around the doors and windows before the Tando Stone install begins. Please refer to the Tando Stone install guide for detailed instructions. To determine your cut lengths, measure from the previous panel to the side of the window or door frame. If you are installing underneath a window, rip cut the Tando Stone panel to size. Remember to drill a new center nailing hole and cut new elongated holes every 8 inches on center to support expansion and contraction. Be sure to cut high enough on the panel to be covered by the J-channel. To install ledge trim around a J-channel, cut the ledge trim corner in half and use the finished end as the last piece of ledge trim. Transitioning to an eave or rip cut panel installations, J-channel or other finish trim options should be installed prior to installing the first panel of the last row. Measure up from the transition line on the top of the Tando Stone panel to determine the height of the final row. To begin, rip cut all the panels needed to complete the row. Continue staggering with the first panel in the row and cut the left side of the panel. Remember to drill a new center nailing hole and cut new elongated holes every 8 inches on center to support expansion and contraction. Be sure to cut high enough on the panel to be covered by the J-channel. Continue to install remaining panels. Tando Stone, the number one brand of composite stone.